What follows is the girls' explanations of what took place the day they killed their mother. Well, she's drunk. She, she just hallucinates and she sees things and she doesn't, she's not in her right mind. She gets like this. Paranoia. Ask those questions like, why y'all doing this? Why y'all doing it? Why y'all doing this? Saying, antagonizing. Call them those whores and sluts and everything like that and stupid. It wasn't like it was a, a fight on the street. It was more of a fight to somebody die. She like smoking the pot like that. Threatening us without, you know, we all, we all gonna die today. So she just started waving the pot around and things like that or whatever. And so I guess she trying to hit us with the pot. You know, she just threatening us and everything. Your mom's yelling? We all yell. Everybody's yelling. We all is mad. I had to pop from her. This when she had grabbed and I kind of turned like and said, get back. But she didn't keep the knife in her hand. My mom was just, just went in that, that battle with the knife or whatever. So I, I picked up the pot and I hit it with the pot. Can you describe the knife? It's long, pretty long. Huh? We all just trying to fight for this knife that she had. Then Jazz had got the knife from her. She bit me with my chest. I got to tell her, I'm not that big. So she's, when she bit me, she latched on to me. I'm trying to get her off of me because it hurts. I'm trying to punch her, I guess. And um, I think Jazz stabbed her. She stabbed her. So I was stunned. I think I picked up a knife and I stabbed her. They were in cuts like they were deep. Cause I, I couldn't bring myself to do that. You had about a hands? Yeah, I think I was, I was at the top. And, and Jazz had her, her feet? Yeah, she was, she was heavy. What did y'all do? They put them in the tub. What's she saying? She, she hated us. She hated us. And I don't know why it's the same thing, going to jail, going to jail. But what are you saying to her? I'm sorry. She went under a couple times and that was it. When that was it, I'm going to use your words, when that was it, what did you and your sister do? I guess we were shocked. We were really relieved. I guess what we done, what we did. Um, we cried. We cried for a long time. We just started playing how we were just going to cover it up, I guess. The girls' individual confessions allow them to accept a plea deal, and they each plead guilty to voluntary manslaughter in 2014. The terms of the plea were 20 years for voluntary manslaughter and five years each for making false statements and possession of a knife during a crime. I just want to say I'm sorry for all this happened. I'm paying it to call family and sister. I'm afraid of the most important of all. Currently, Jasmiah Whitehead is incarcerated at Arendelle State Prison. Tasmaya Whitehead is incarcerated at Pulaski State Prison. They became eligible for parole in 2017, but should they serve their maximum sentences, they will be eligible for release in May 2040, when they are 46 years old. The murder of Nikki Whitehead has been featured on Snapped, Evil Twins, Dateline, Killer Kids, and Corrupt Crimes. All links are in the show notes. Thank you to the State of Logic podcast for their continued sponsorship and support. And as always, visit ResonateRecordings.com to have your first episode produced for free. Come back soon for another episode of Murderous Miners Killer Kids. And until then, don't be scared. Stay tuned for a few promos from my pod friends.
Are you a fan of true crime? Do you prefer listening to cases that you've never heard before? I'm Nikki T, the host of Strictly Homicide, a true crime podcast covering lesser known cases right out of the natural state. Join us this July as we start our first ever series on cold cases. Did you know there are over 500 missing people in Arkansas? That's only the people that are reported. This July, I'll be covering a handful of cold cases that you may have never heard before. And of course, join us bi-weekly as I cover Arkansas cases that have fallen through the cracks. Find us on all major podcast apps, including Podbean, Stitcher, Google Play, and iTunes, where you can also rate and review us. Hey, 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 everybody. My name's Lisa. And my name is Matt. And we are the hosts of I for an I podcast. And we are trying to determine whether or not the punishment fits the crime. Was an I for an I met? Does the punishment make sense? Was it too lenient, too harsh, too rough, not enough? We're not sure, but we're about to figure it out. And do you think that we have the opportunity to determine now what happened after the fact? Who knows? Take a listen to our podcast, Eye for Eye Podcast. We'd love to hear from you.